My Eschatology A Timeline of 27 Events Foretold in the Holy Bible A Tentative Proposal of Dr. Galen Curra Friends have asked me to chart my current view of biblical eschatology, that is, the order in which coming prophetic events may occur. Since hundreds of biblical prophecies have been fulfilled as events in time and space, so also some future fulfillments may occur as actual events. Some prophecies may have both a figurative meaning and a future fulfillment. For example, the reign of Jesus Christ as Lord in human lives and his future reign as King over all nations. Although strict chronology remains a Western cultural construct, biblical language does allow readers to discern sequence of some prophecies. Most prophecies found in New Testament books have corresponding prophecies found in Old Testament books. Timeline of 27 events foretold in the Holy Bible. In the prophetic age, until about 600 BCE. 1. Human beings disobey their Creator, bringing death upon the human race. Genesis 2.17 In the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. 2. God judges evil humans and angels by sending a great worldwide flood. Genesis 6.13 Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. 3. Abraham's descendants migrate into Egypt and become servants. Genesis 15.13 Know for certain that your offspring will be sojourners in a land that is not theirs and will be servants there for four hundred years. 4. Moses leads the Hebrew people to the promised land in Canaan. Genesis 15.18 To your offspring I give this land. 5. Ten northern tribes of Israel are exiled under Assyrian rule. Amos 7.11 Israel must go into exile away from his land. 6. Two southern tribes of Israel are exiled under Babylonian rule. Isaiah 39 6. The days are coming when all that is in your house shall be carried to Babylon. During the times of the Gentiles, from about 600 BCE to the present. 7. Judeans return to the land, and Daniel's 490 years begin. Daniel 9.25 From the going out of the word to restore and build Jerusalem to the coming of Messiah, there shall be 70 weeks. 8. An abomination of desolation happens under Greek rule. Daniel 11.31 Forces from him shall appear and profane the temple and fortress and shall take away the regular burnt offering, and they shall set up the abomination that makes desolate. 9. Messiah is born, revealed, crucified, risen, and ascended. Daniel 9.26 And after the sixty-two weeks, an anointed one shall be cut off and shall have nothing. 10. The Holy Spirit descends onto the apostles and other Christian believers. Joel 2.28 I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. 11. An abomination of desolation happens under Roman rule. Daniel 9.27 For half of the week he shall put an end to sacrifice and offering, and on the wing of abominations shall come one who makes desolate. 12. The mission to make Christian disciples in all nations is nearly complete. Isaiah 66, 19. From them I will send survivors to the nations. In the day of the Lord, sometime soon. 13. The man of sin is revealed who enters into God's temple, making himself a god. 
2 Thessalonians 2 4. He takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. 14. Masses defect from biblical faith, refusing the truth, believing a lie. 2 Thessalonians 2 3. The rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed. 15. The Son of Man appears in clouds of glory. Daniel 7.13 Behold, with the clouds of heaven there came one like a son of man. 16. Jerusalem is trampled by Gentiles for three and a half years. In Daniel 8.13 For how long is the giving over of the sanctuary and host to be trampled underfoot? 17. God pours out his wrath upon Antichrist's kingdom. Daniel 11.45 He shall come to his end, with none to help him. 18. At the Lord's descent, the dead in Christ rise back to life. In Isaiah 26.19 Your dead shall live, their bodies shall rise. 19. All believers receive a new body, and rise to meet the Lord in the air. Luke 20.36 They cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. 20. The Lord Jesus slays the man of sin, his false prophet, and their armies. 20. 2 Thessalonians 2.8 whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The Eternal Age, Forever 21. The Lord judges the nations, choosing which may enter his earthly kingdom. Micah 4.3. He shall judge between many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. 22. Jesus rewards believers for their past loyalty and good deeds. 2 Corinthians 5.10 We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due. 23. Jesus and believers reign over nations, whilst his apostles govern the tribes of Israel. 1 Corinthians 6.2 The world is to be judged by you. 24. The devil, Gog and Magog, attempt a final revolt and are defeated. Ezekiel 38, 2-3. Gog, of the land of Magog, the chief prince, behold, I am against you. 25. God raises dead non-believers and judges them by their deeds. Acts 17, 31. He has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. 26. The devil, evil spirits, and the wicked are judged and are lost forever. Ezekiel 31.14 They are all given over to death, to the world below, among the children of man. 27. God renews the heavens and the earth as his and believers eternal home. Isaiah 66 22 For as the new heavens and the new earth that I make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your offspring and your name remain. Neither a seven-year tribulation nor a pre-tribulational rapture will occur. Christian believers will witness the rise of the Antichrist and will experience severe opposition. Many other details of prophetic scripture can be fitted into this scheme. Please leave a comment below with your corrections, suggestions, and objections.